This is the sixth video in my report from General Convention. The day began early. Over 100 bishops gathered outdoors to march against gun violence. Prayers were offered for the families of those who had been slain in the places that you and I know oh so well, of people who are literally dying in the streets because of gun violence. It was a moving time and a public witness that was picked up by a lot of people in the media. That was immediately followed by an incredibly joyous communion service, finishing off the communion portion distribution with I am the bread of life and people all over the auditorium singing and I will raise him up with hands in the air. It was quite a phenomenal and blessed celebration. After that, we went into legislative sessions as we have been pretty much all of the rest of today. It wasn't anything that was particularly remarkable. We're at that in-between point where all the courtesy resolutions, thanking people from the Episcopal Church in Brazil to our volunteers to the youth presence people, a special award, for example, was given out to a senior man who had given 40 years of his ministry to the Episcopal camps. Tomorrow is when things get a lot more, um, what's the best word? Touchy difficult, complicated, because tomorrow is when we face, at least in the House of Bishops, the resolutions around marriage and gay marriage. So I would certainly solicit your prayers for that. We've had a lot of great goodwill in the House of Bishops over these few days. And the same can be said in the House of Deputies as well, particularly still living in part over the jubilation of the election of Michael Curry. But tomorrow is the day when we get down to some pretty serious business because to actually change the definition of marriage will redefine us in a very significant way as a church and will mark us particularly in the light of the Supreme Court decision as a church that's very taken a very clear stand around the sacredness of even gay marriage. So please pray for us as we work through, through those de deliberations. I'm really happy to report that your crew here, our deputation from Central Florida, is working amazingly hard. I mean, we were all at dinner tonight and we were saying, well, can't stay out late. We got 7.30 legislative meetings tomorrow morning, myself included. So we're turning in because tomorrow promises to be another full day. I will make one point to say that the Living Church sponsored an excellent symposium on the whole nature of marriage. And you can find those uh, conversations online. They would be very, very much worth your time. It was a panel that was put together of people who were both for and against gay marriage and traditional marriage. And the caliber of conversation uh, was very, very high indeed, all given in an extraordinary level of charity. So if you really want to plummet this issue, that's a great place to start. I look forward to talking to you tomorrow night and giving you an update. But in the meantime, again, thank you very, very much for your support and your prayers. Good.